What is up guys, Coding Jesus here. Guys, in today's video, I wanna talk about a trend in the world of software engineering and quantitative trading in particular that I don't think a lot of people have really picked up on yet. And I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what you think about what I'm about to tell you. That trend is the gradual movement away from the world of software engineering seeing Meta, Apple, Google, etc., as the world's go-to premier software engineering companies towards a push in which companies like Citadel, companies like Tower Research, Jump Trading, IMC Optiver, etc., all these hedge funds, all these finance-related software companies, really these, this group of fintech companies is a premier place to go to if you're a new grad or experienced hire. And I want to talk about really four reasons why I think that's the case. The first reason, guys, is money. Previously, the Apples, the Facebooks, the Googles of the world were seen as the go-to place primarily because they would pay the most. They demand the most from you in the sense that they'd be looking for the top echelon of software engineers, and in return, they'd pay you the most. They'd often give you a nice sign-on bonus, a very, very comfortable base salary, and they'd give you stock or equity in the company that would vest over a given period of time. Nowadays, the world of fintech is booming to the point where companies are able to hire talent that traditionally would be attracted to the money offered by the big tech of the world. So what you're seeing is compensation packages in the world of quantitative trading that are at, if not higher than, what is currently offered by big tech. Also, what's really important to note is that the compensation packages of big tech, oftentimes a big portion of them involve equity or options. And that equity or options will vest over a given period of time. That means that if you leave the company, you might risk losing a big part of your compensation package. The world of quantitative trading is a lot different. In the world of quantitative trading, instead of getting equity or stock options, what you'll instead get is a big end of the year lump sum bonus. Once you're paid that bonus, in theory, you can leave and the company can't do anything about it. You've earned what you've killed for that year and you take it home. On the contrary, if you're working in big tech and you're given that really high $400,000 offer or maybe even half a million dollar offer or even higher, a large portion of that is stock options that vest over a given period of time. And in some cases, you know, obviously if you leave in two years and they vest in four, you might not see that entire compensation package come to fruition. The second thing that I think is the reason why people are attracted to the world of quant trading and there's gonna be a push away from big tech towards quant trading and software engineering is the impact that you have. Quantitative trading firms run extremely lean. And so what you're going to see in this space is you're going to see each software engineer have a much larger impact on the actual organization than you would at a Google or a Meta or a Apple, for example. I think when I speak to a lot of my friends at these kind of current big tech stack of companies, they're working on some feature in a settings tab in Chrome that nobody looks at. They don't know who their customer is. They don't know who the person that's gonna be consuming this feature is. On the contrary, in the world of quant trading, I'm working with the consumer of the feature that I'm working on the entire time that I'm working on that feature. That means I'm writing the scope with that person. That means that I am answering and asking questions with that person. That means that I'm getting test data potentially from that person. That means that I'm integration testing my feature with that person. That person is either the quant researcher, the quant trader, or in some other rare circumstances, another quant developer. So I know who I need to be speaking to, who I need to be answering questions from the entire time. And once my update is in master, once it is in production, when I release that different feature, or I release that given application, then I know the next day it'll be used by the same person I've been, that I've been speaking to this entire time throughout the uh, application development lifecycle. Guys, the third reason I think a lot of people are gonna be moving from big tech towards quant trading and prop trading, et cetera, is the actual tech stack that you're working with. Now that doesn't mean that you know Rust is better and we use more Rust or C++ is better and we use more C++. What it means is regardless of what language you're using, you're always on the tip of the spear. You're most likely using the latest language features. And because the demands for understanding the computer holistically is much higher, by that I mean you need to understand both the hardware and the software, you're going to be working with libraries that you might not be familiar with in the world of big tech, for example. You might be working with maybe more low-level libraries that might be focused on uh, core pinning or multi-threading that you might not be exposed to, per se, in the world of big tech. Or that might be really abstracted away from you. You don't even know that you're using asynchronous programming or you don't even know that you're using multi-threading. 
So that's a really, really important piece of personal development in the world of software engineering, kind of getting lower level exposure and really understanding the computer. And I don't think a lot of roles in the world of big tech will offer you that experience. Maybe in some, maybe more niche fields or niche teams in big tech, that's definitely something that people are going to be working on. But in general, the average software engineer in the world of quantitative trading is going to need to know a lot more of how a computer works, kind of the detailed under the hood view of the computer than somebody would in the world of big tech is what I'm really getting at here. The last reason, guys, is, and I think this is probably the most important for somebody that's kind of in the senior role, is the learning opportunities. That is what you have exposure to. So in the world of big tech, because there are so many software engineers, every software engineer is really going to be specialized in one component of the larger organization. In the world of quant trading, because the hierarchy is flat and because the teams are so lean, you're going to need to be able to repurpose your skill set and focus on various aspects of the business, and in, or in other words, wear various hats. What I mean by that, for example, is you might be a software engineer in quant trading and you might be working on market data for four months. Then you might need to switch to work on order entry, or maybe you're going to need to switch to internal dev tooling like build pipelines, for example. Or maybe you're going to need to start working on server client architecture and, and GUI development. And so the amount of projects that you're going to be involved in and the amount of knowledge that you're going to accrue during your career is going to be a lot larger than you would in the world of traditional big tech. Guys, if you're interested in breaking to the space as a software engineer, quant researcher, or quant uh, trader, I have a Calendly link in the description box below, guys. I do resume reviews. I do mock interviews. I pretty much answer any questions you want. You can book a one-on-one -on -one session with me if you'd like. If you'd like to see this video early, guys, Patreon link in the description box below. You also gain access to my exclusive Discord. And if you'd like to follow my life behind the scenes, I post nothing quant-related. Disclaimer, you can follow me on my Instagram at thecodingjesus. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Cheers.